Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now this weekend I originally planned to get the front doors on the van. So I, I found some um, some used doors from a newer caddy in two different places. So that was the original plan for this weekend. Unfortunately, on closer inspection, they weren't that good. Uh, one was, one was alright, but one was, well, for the money that they were asking, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pay it. So I've gave that a miss. I'll continue looking for those. Um, and hopefully, you know, this will do. This is just a little follow on from the last one. And I'm going to focus on the interior, like I say. Um, we're going to be blacking out everything in this video. I've got most of it um, sort of done already at this point. So we're going to flash back to this morning where I'm going to sort of tear the, tear the interior down. Um, a little bit of it's already painted. Uh, but we're going to flash back to this morning. We're going to get it all out. We're going to paint it. We're going to put the headliner in. And then hopefully by the time I have done all that, the um, die will have arrived from Amazon because that's still not here. So with the whole day, and I'm still waiting for that. And I need it really by the end of this day so that I can let it dry overnight. It was supposed to come yesterday. It got delayed till today. It's estimated between 6.45 and 10. Um, we're closer to 10 now than we are 6.45. So, yeah, fingers crossed that arrives today. Because um, I want to get this done and dusted by tomorrow. And I don't want to put all the plastic back without putting the headliner on. So I can't do the headliner without the die. So fingers crossed that arrives by the time I finish messing around with this video. Taking off this bit of plastic is not that difficult. It's uh, just screwed in. You've got to remove this little tab here and this little tab here. Um, undo the screws there and then same thing at the front. So take the sun visor off and you've got a screw in the bottom there. Screw in the bottom there and I've already... Oh, and there's two. There's two in there as well. I've already, obviously already taken that out. So undo them and then this whole bit of plastic will come off. And then we'll drop the roof liner as well and get this painted. Get these painted. I've got black ones of these to go on, I've got a black grab handle and I've got a black sun, sunglass holder to go there on order. Leave it to dry overnight and then get it all back in again tomorrow. Right, that's all the interior trim off, pretty easy. All the little clips, these are the ones I've got to save. You can get these in black but to be honest I'm not that bothered because they're never going to get touched. The only things that I've actually replaced in black are the grab handle in here somewhere so this is out of a, a polo of some sort with black interior um, I've also in that box got the little things for here we go seat belt things because these will get you touched and used um, I'm replacing what else am I replacing in black just the seat just the grab handles and then on the driver's side like I say I've got a sun deck I've got um, a sun glass holder thing it's like a little box uh, that's off a of borer so um, they'll be coming in black from the factory the rest of it I shall just paint the sun visors you can't get in black but I'm not going to bother coating my sun visors because they don't have mirrors so I want a set with mirrors so I'm going to order a set with mirrors first and then I'm going to paint them in like a flexible vinyl paint hopefully they'll last the test of time for this all I'm using is this stuff so Alfred's plastic bumper paint in black obviously this is plastic this is for designed for plastic. It's like a flexible paint. Um, it sort of like bonds straight to that. You don't need to prep or primer or anything like that. Um, obviously this is meant to be going on the outside of your car. So it's that sort of hard wearing paint that should last. I've already done a bit. Excuse the lighting. So that, that is the, uh, the A pillar trims. Um, so obviously you've got B pillars and then the top bit. And then I'll dye that when my die gets here. However, um, just wait for that to turn up. Ordered it on Amazon on Thursday for the delivery Friday, but there's been a bit of a delay, so today's Saturday. The die should be coming today, so hopefully we'll get the painting done out of the way. We can dye that, leave it overnight to dry. But yeah, we'll, we'll crack on with all this now. I'll give it a coat of paint. I won't film it because it's boring. Um, but yeah, give it a quick coat of black. Let it dry for a bit, give it another coat, let it dry for a bit again. Um, probably give it three coats. And that should be enough then for it to last. Now that all the headliner is out, this is the perfect opportunity to put the extra wire in for my W8 light. So this is the little adapter that goes into the existing loom. This yellow lead is a permanent live, which will 
light up these little LEDs at the bottom here. So what you do, you run that down, down there, down that there, and then into the back of here, and you just connect it up to your side lights, so that when your side lights run, or in my case, when my headlights come on, the um, the little LEDs light up. So it should be pretty straightforward, especially now that all this is out. I'm just going to tie it, cable tie it nicely to this, so it's all neat and tidy out of the way, and I'll drop it straight down there, straight and uh, straight out there, and then connect it up to that. Right, there's that. It's all cable tied up. I will tighten it up um, and we'll make it a lot neater, but I just want to make sure that I've got enough length down here at the bottom first before I do that. But that's pretty much what you need to do. Um, you need to connect it up down here to the blue and grey wire. So that's that one there. So I'm going to have to split this, um, split this loom up a little bit, get that wire out. Um, and this kit, this adapter that I bought, actually comes with like um, an inline connector. So you just put it on, you clip it down, and then it gives you a little slot that you can you put a spade connector on the end of there, and it will just slide straight in. So you don't need to cut any wires, you don't need to splice anything, you don't need to um, take any of the insulation off these. I've just got to get enough of the wire showing that I can get the um, little split thing on. In fact, I'll run and grab that now. So these come with it. That's the little line thing. So you put that over your wire. And you just clamp it down and it itself will cut through the insulation and it will um it will yeah create like a little branch off and then once that's in you can um connect the spade connector over the top of it the spade connector will sort of slide through that little rectangular gap there and then slide it between those two little prongs just there and that'll that'll create a basically a little little offshoot um, all I've got to do is I've got to trim a bit of the lead off the end of there put that on crimp that on and that's all I've got to do There you go, that's nicely crimped on. I'm trying to balance the phone on my knee while I'm doing it, so uh, didn't get quite get the whole thing, but that is it. So that then will just connect into this little inline thing. So that's how it looks, inline connector on the blue and grey lead. I'll uh, plug this in and just give it a little test now. There you can see, red LEDs are on, working perfectly. Um, there is green LEDs in there. Excuse the beeping. There is green LEDs in there because this is actually, out, like I say, out of a Skoda, and Skoda's got all green interior lights. However, it doesn't matter to me because my um, switches, I've painted them black, and I've painted over the the little diagram, so you'll never see the green light through it. Let's check the rest of it works. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you'll never see the green light through it. Um, you can change the LEDs in there if you want to solder on, you know, a red one to obviously go with the Volkswagen theme. I might do that. Depends on if I, I don't know. I might, yeah, I might. I'll look into it. Maybe I'll change it. But for now, that's all going to be blacked off anyway, so you won't see that. But I'm happy with that. They do work properly. So at the minute we're on side lights are on look, and then we'll turn them off, and they're off. So yeah, lovely, wicked job. Nice and easy. Um, I think that adapter loom was only like 15 quid. That ended up costing me about three quid if I think I've, if I totaled it all up. So for, for the sake of less than 20 pounds, that's a real bargain. Don't know what this is hanging off it. I'll probably cut that off. Something to do with the Skoda, I think, or someone's been doing, messing around with it. So I'll cut that off. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll mount this back in the, um, in the new headliner when it's all blacked out. Right, there's all the interior plastics painted. Got a big top bit. I've got all the little, just little clips, stoppers, and that that go in there, and sort of just to cover them up. These bits I did the other night. 
got the side bits this is all just drying they're done on the floor these are just drying at the minute and then on here i've got the um the bits that i bought in black so i've got one polar grab bundle and then these are off of skoda fabia i've got these ages ago um from you pull it but they'll all be going on unfortunately my die for the headliner has been delayed um it's not gonna be here till about it's on prime but it's coming about eight o'clock so i don't think i'm gonna get that done tonight um ideally i wanted to get it all done and back in the van so what i might do is just slap all the plastics back in um and then do that another time but we'll see we'll see what time it comes up if it gets here if it gets here in all right time i'll, I'll get it try and get it done i don't want to be in here till late i'll lose the light soon um the lighting in the garage is really quite dim at the minute. That's that reassembled, painted black, and I'm now going to mock it up in this gap. So I know I need to cut out part of this plastic to fit that in. So that is what I'm going to do now, and then that'll sit nicely in there, and we're all blacked out. One eternity later. It's 9 p.m., and Amazon have finally delivered the goods. I'm gonna make a little start on dyeing the headliner now. I'm probably gonna run out of light, um, but I'll try and get what I can done tonight and then finish it off in the morning. My dye arrived last night. Um, I didn't get a chance to do anything on it, just too late really, and I couldn't see what I was doing in the garage. So, got the garage door up, we're in the natural sunlight. I'm gonna dilute this with water and then just use a sponge to sort of apply it um, evenly. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully, it's, well, the sun's meant to stay out, so we should have a good chance of getting this dry enough to get back in the van by the end of today. So there's one pass with the dye. Um, I need to let it soak in, so then obviously I can see where it's not soaked in, and I'm going to do another another pass on it. So I'm just going to leave that for a, for a, probably half an hour or so, make sure it's nice and dry, and then I'll go again. But to be fair, it is drying pretty pretty quickly. Um, a little bit damp, but yeah, I'll leave that to dry for a little bit, and then I'll show obviously go over this area a lot more, um, and then a bit more at the back. This area is the visible part, so I need like this bit to be the most sort of perfect part of it. The rest of it is all hidden, but. I do obviously want it to be nice and even. There's a second coat on, looking loads better, loads more even. Um, I'll let that dry and I'll do one more coat and then it'll be ready to go back in again. There's the final product. I'm happy with that. That can go in the van as it is now, along with all of this. So join me in there in a minute. First stage of the install done. Now that's just sort of balanced at the minute. It's pinned in back at the back, behind the bulkhead. I've reattached the bulkhead. And then at the, at the front, it's just sort of held in gently in the seals like that. In fact, well, it's not held in at all. Um, so I need to start reassembling the plastics around it. So the first bits of plastic I'm gonna put in are the A-pillar. Um, finally, they've not been in the van for months. So they'll be finally going in. Um, and they'll keep the front up in the air. And then we'll put the B pillars on and then we'll put the top tray on. I can already see the difference it's made. Um, it just looks so much better in black. Um, yeah, really worth doing it. Bit of a faff. I'm absolutely uh, filthy. My hands are disgusting, full of dye. Um, but well worth doing it. So, yeah, let's get the uh, A pillars back on and get this held up. So that's the A pillars just about in just missing the the bottom bits at the minute i'll be honest that's probably the hardest job of the lot to get them in it's such a tight little gap um and obviously i'm trying to not chip the paint but they're nearly there just fighting with it a little bit um next thing once they're in is going to be these b pillars and then i'll reattach the seat belts um put the little seat belt covers on b pillars in seat belt covers on now, I know that this is dark, lighter grey. I still haven't found these in the right colour. Still looking out for them. Easy pit to change, probably the easiest part of the, da of the interior to change. Because it, it doesn't over, there's nothing under, underneath it. That whole piece will just come off. So I will eventually get it. Again, I'm just, just keeping my eyes out for it. But yeah, black, black, all black. Looking really, really, really good. Same on this side. Last piece then. Is a big bit and then we'll add 
all the little bits of trimming. The only thing I'm not going to put back on is the sun visors because the ones I've got, I'm not keeping anyway. They're covered in mold um, and I want one with a, with a little fold down mirror in it. Um, so I'm going get, to get them ordered, get them sort of coloured because they, again, they can't be, uh, they don't come in black. They only come in, um, in white and there's no other vehicle, unfortunately, in the Volkswagen lineup that has the same size visor as a caddy because it's got obviously all this big plastic bit. Um, the Tarans are just too too small, and they end up with a with a, with a weird sh shape on it. So I'm gonna have to dye them. Um, they tend to last. Looking at feedback from other people, they do seem to last all right as long as you use the right paint and you prep them properly. So I'll, I'll do that. But yeah, I put the last I put the last tray in, and then I'll get the interior light in, and then we are good to go. And it's in. It's pretty hard to see actually on this camera. Let me get out of the van. There you go. Now, like I say, no sun visors yet. I've got the Polo, well, sorry. Yeah, that is out of a Polo. I've got a Polo grab handle. It's the same, it's out of borers and all sorts. And then coming here, I've got a sunglass holder. So I'm gonna leave this one off. Um, I'm gonna leave the sun visors off, but I'm gonna put this clip back in and that, that will hold the sun visor. This clip back in, hold the sun visor. But I shan't have the sun visors in at the corners. Um, interior light, next and then put these clips on and then that'll be it then. And that's as far as we're gonna get today. Everything in bar this and the sun visors. Lighting and the all important LEDs glowing nicely. These work, lovely. And then if we flick it over that way, that works as well. Turn the, the lights off, the LEDs go off, back on again. Wicked, love it. Right, we'll call it a day there on another video. Quite a bit done today. Um, really, really happy with the results. Better than I thought it was going to be. Um, there's a few little spots where the paint is chipped off the plastics as I've been putting them on, especially on the A pillars. Really, really difficult to get them on. So um, they might have to get redone again at some point. There is a good chance, maybe in the future, that this is all going to come off anyway might wrap it in Alcantara. If you're on Instagram and you want to check out my Instagram account, I've just started using it really, um, just to help promote the channel. There's gonna be a few little updates on there. Um, majority of it's gonna be tools. So just, just general tool porn, pictures of tools, collection of tools, that sort of stuff. So if you're into tools and you're into cars, then please head over to my Instagram. The link's on my main channel. I'll put a link in the description as well. I'll be really appreciative of that. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel getting the numbers up slowly i've reached 300 subscribers which i'm really happy about i want to get that up to a thousand as soon as i can so if yeah if you're watching you want to see some more please click the subscribe button please like the video if you like the video as always and um, any comments are welcome let me know what you think let me know if you prefer it black if you prefer it gray um got a few things to work towards for another video i'm still trying to find some doors like i say i'm going to get a rear bumper pretty soon as well the next video on the van is going to be a little bit more um, mechanical based so I'm going to be doing um, an EGR valve delete I've got to put a new exhaust on the van taking a look under the bonnet a little bit more in the next video and giving the interior a miss I've done pretty much all I can do now at the minute uh, without sort of spending some serious money on interior bits like new steering wheel I need to get my door cars trimmed but I'm not doing that I'm going to get someone else to do that so, so no video for that but yeah we'll keep, keep, um, we'll keep going so next video probably look at exhaust so yeah tune in for that and i'll see you then thanks for thanks for watching